Let us begin with the greeting. Here we go. Welcome, everyone. One fist. This is for strength. The fingers are closed like this for unity. And then the thumb is in for humility. And it looks like this. Here. Let's begin. So we begin with a warm up. Ready? Sitting a little bit at the edge, not too much. Posture. Here we go. Turn so that the palms are facing up. Drop elbows, drop shoulders, bring the palms towards your chest. Turn the palms again. Bring the arms out, but not all the way. And as the arms go down, your chin goes down. Just your chin, if you can. And we do the same thing a couple of more times. Breathing, inhale. Important to breathe. Please don't hold your breath. Keep breathing naturally. Turn the palm, drop elbow, drop shoulders, bring the palm towards your chest. Turn the palm again, facing out, and then press forward. And then bring it down. Ready for the next one? Drop your left hand, turn your right palm. Now I want you to move only your neck. That means you're gonna look at the hand as the arm does moves like this and you're just turning your neck just a little bit and then bring it back to the middle. That's it. And then bring it down, same thing on the other side. Look at the hand, stay looking at the hand as you turn the neck, look at the hand and then bring it to the middle. So we're gonna do that again, except every time we do it, you turn a little bit more, the neck looking at the hand. Take your time, no rush. A little bit more. Now our shoulders, roll back and down. Keep breathing, relaxing, just roll back, right? A lot of tension is in the shoulders. So just roll back and let it go, let it go. And reverse. Now cross hands, do a circle, inhale, and bring it down as you exhale. Now remember these could be done sitting or standing. Sometimes you might see me stand, sometimes you'll see me sit, inhale. And wherever I stand, and you can't stand, just move your upper body, bring it down. Ready, inhale. Now, it's important here that you see what's dropping. 
What's dropping? Watch. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, hands. Ready? Follow that. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, hands. That's it. Okay, ready? That was the shoulders. We finished with the shoulders. Now, our back, our spine. So hold the ball like this. Now, when I tell people to do this, a lot of people, what they do, and it's normal at the beginning, is that they do this. You see, you, see, you think there's, uh, that's tension. See how it tenses up the shoulders? So you have to do this and drop it, right? So remember that, tension, relaxation, <laughs> okay? So keep it down. And better, by the way, in Tai Chi, elbows always down. Ready? Hold the ball. Here we go. Ready? Let's do the first one. The first one, you're going to turn to your right. But what's turning? Is it just the arm or the whole body? It's the whole body that you want to turn as one. So it's a very slow turn. In other words, the navel, right? And the nose, they turn as one like this. See that? Right. Then when you get just a little bit, when you get to the corner, just turn the ball around like that. Like if you had a ball there, you're turning it around. So the palms always face each other. That's the energy is connecting palm to palm. Now go this way. Go. Turn the ball when you get to the corner. Now I want you to try something. As I'm turning, I'm pushing down so let's say you're turning now to your right. So the bottom of my feet is pushing into the ground. There. So I'm using that pressure point that's in the soles of my feet. Right? It's kind of right behind the toes, that little piece that you have. And then, boom, turn it around. Push with the bottom of your right foot. That's it. Turn. And then imaginary ball, palm to palm. Drop shoulders, drop elbow. Push from the bottom of your left foot. Push, push, turn the ball around. Push with the bottom of your right foot to help you turn. Turn, and then move it around. Now bring it to the middle for the next one. So with your left hand, you're going to bring it up in a curve. It's going to turn the hand. It's like blocking the sun up there. See that? And this one is going to feel the earth with the other palm like that. So just go as high as you can. Sometimes this is good. If you can't go that high, bring it low. If it hurts your shoulder, you can't. This is okay. If not, bring it up to here. And then you hold the ball again. Because now we're going to do the other side. Hold the ball and bring it up in a curve. Turn. Bring it up there. Right? So hold the ball again. Hold the ball again. What does the bottom one do? It goes up in a curve. And then turn. And the other hand does this. Even if it's a little bit. It does okay. Go. Hold the ball. See, so even if I do this, because I can't go all the way, even if I do this, it's okay. Look, this is okay too. It doesn't have to go all the way up. If you can, you do this. And if you can't, just visualize you're going all the way, even if you're just doing this. Ready? Hold the ball. Drop. Go. Up. There. There. One more. Drop. Elbow drop, shoulders, bring it up, breathe. There, and relax, see? So that was the spine, good. Now we're gonna work on our hips. Now the hips could be done sitting or standing. First, I'm gonna show you the sitting method and the standing method, ready? So when we sit, we're gonna put the arms a little bit further back than the waist. See how it goes back a little bit, the hands? And then I'm going to place the right heel down like that. See that? If you can, if not, you could just do the arms. As the arms go up, bring the foot back. 
So now the heel is a little off the ground and the toe is touching a little bit there. Ready? Even if you raise it just a little bit or if you don't, do what you can. One, two. So as the arms go up, the foot goes back. One, two. Ready? Other side. One, two. Even if it's a little bit, look, even if you do this, that's good too. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Even if you just a little bit, that's fine. Two. Now, if you're standing, please stay sitting if you have to. But if you're standing and you have, the best thing is with a chair. And what I do is the same side of the leg that's in the chair, I do heel. See how the foot goes back? Heel. So the same leg that's next to the chair, heel, and then foot goes back, toe. Heel and relax the knees, see? Toe. Heel. And if you're sitting, just do it again. This is great for you. Great for you for your waist. And then I go on the other side. So I slowly walk like this, making sure that I have the balance with my chair, making sure I have the balance, holding on for grip. And I'm going to do the other side. Ready? So it's heel, posture, toe. Heel, toe. Heel, toe. Bring it down. Now I'm going to push to the side. This is the next one. I'm going to sit because I'll do that one. I'm going to sit and push to the side, nice and slow. Ready? So I'm going to start with a palm to palm position like this. Then I'm going to push to the side and I'm going to step, move my foot out to the side, to the side. See, one step out. With the heel a little bit off the floor, you might not be able to see well from there, but the heel's a little bit out. And of course, remember, elbow down, pushing to the side as if pushing against the wall. Bring it back. This is the starting point, palm to palm. Ready? Push it, go out. A little bit, heels a little bit off the ground. Bring it back, palm to palm. Push out. Bring it back, palm to palm. Go out. Bring the foot out, see? And then bring the foot back. If you can, if not, just do the hand. And if you can't go so high, visualize. Here. Bring it back. Perfect. Bring it down. Now the knees. So for the knees, I'll do standing and sitting. First, we're going to do the sitting. So for the knees, here. So you see, I made a small fist, but not tight. Maybe lying here on your um, thigh a little bit, on the side. Now I'm going to lift my knee if you can. And then I'm going to stretch my foot out so that the toes point forward like this. See that? And at the same time, the opposite hand does this. There. And then bring it back. So lift up the left knee if you can, or visualize. Stretch it out so you point the toes out. And the opposite hand does that. So because I'm stretching my hand out, remember my arm in Tai Chi, it never locks. So it's always bent a little bit. It's never rigid. It's soft. Bring it back. Lift. Stretch out and we'll work on the posture, whether you're sitting or standing, make sure your posture is nice and straight if you can. Bring it back, lift, inhale, exhale, mm, relax. Don't hold your breath. Sometimes we tend to hold our breath, especially for too focused. Inhale, mm, just relax, keep breathing, let it go. Now let's try pushing with the heel. I'm lifting, now the heel's gonna come out like, like that, just a little bit, see? And then back. Lift up the knee, even if it's a little bit, or visualize, go. See the heel? That's it. And if you can't lift up your leg, it's okay, just bring it down to the floor. Here, bring it back. 
here. Now I'm going to do it standing. Those of you that are sitting, continue with the sitting. If you're standing, again, close to the chair, close to the chair. So the foot that's close to the chair is the one that's going to be lifting a little bit and doing this, stretching out one, bring it back. Let's do it three times. Lift up the knee, stretch the leg and the arm, two, that's it. Ready, lift, three. Now, slowly, slowly, I'm gonna do the other side. So I'm gonna gently side to side and hold on to the chair. The one that's closest to the chair is the one that's gonna lift. Lift and look at the other arm. One, two, bring it out, bring it back. Three. Perfect. Okay, now stay there if you're standing. Ready? From here. Now, if you have to hold on, because we're going to do heel toe like this to work the ankle. Heel, toe, heel, toe. Place the heel, place the toe. Place the heel. Sitting, same thing, sitting, heel toe. And the other side, you know, you could hold on, or if you want to do the other side just to be safe. Right, you do heel toe. And now side to side. So we're gonna bend the ankle like this. So it's little toe, big toe, like this. Little toe, big toe, like that. See, little toe, big toe. Turn the ankle. Just hold on, or if you're sitting, just turn it. Like that, good. And then just gently do this, relax the feet, lifting. I'm gonna sit down again. Nice and slow, mm, nice and slow. There. Ready, so that was a warm up, which does have a little Qigong, but not as much as the Qigong that I do with you now. Ready? So let's start with this one, cross. Turn the palm. Draw a straight line with the tip of the thumbs in front of your chest. Bring it out. Inhale. Out, out, out there. And we'll do it again. Wrist, touch, turn the palm in front of chest. Open. Bring it out. Open. Open. Open the chest. Bring it back. Now close the fingertips like this. See, the fingertips close. Find the clavicle, find the clavicle. Feel that, the bone is, go underneath it and then bring it out and there's gonna be a soft spot in the corner of it. You feel how it sinks in? So take the fingertips and sink into the soft spots and then take your thumb now, I mean your thumb, your uh, elbows, the tip of your elbow and slowly, a few inches up like this, and then open up, breathe, and then let it go down, and then back to the beginning. So inhale, exhale, open up. See how that's good for your back also, especially if you're sitting a lot. So inhale, Exhale, it works on your shoulders, your back, and let it go. Go up, so you're going up, out, and just down, and relax. Ready? Palm to palm. Now, push to the right and turn your neck to the left and bring it to the middle. Now, what you didn't notice maybe, your shoulder's still lifted and your elbow, so drop. Let it drop down, 
let those muscles drop on the bones and relax and do it again. Ready? Pushing to the left and looking to the right. Bring it to the middle. Turning to the left, pushing to the right. Bring it to the middle. Feel the fingers touching. Bring your mind there. Bring it to the middle. Go. Middle. Drop. So now we move away from the Qigong and we go into the Tai Chi. I'm gonna do the Sun style again and then a little bit of the Yang style. So let's start with the Sun style of Tai Chi. So those of you that are new, it starts with the palms facing each other, which is important, the palms facing each other, and the arms going up about shoulder height. If you can, if you go lower than that, that's fine. And then you bring them down, and I'm gonna draw a circle. So as I go down, I'm bringing it up again in front of my chest, and then I bring it out. See the circle? That was the circle, right? So the circle was this, see? That, like that. So let's do it again. Ready? Bring it up. You don't have to go that high. Bring it down and draw the circle. See the circle? and then goes to the middle, drop shoulders, drop elbows, and then just push it forward, but not all the way. See that? So the palms are still facing each other, even at this stage. And then bring it towards you like this. So I went from here, drop elbow, drop shoulder to you there. And now open and close. This is one of the key moments of the Sun style where the Chi is expressed which means the energy that's found here in the middle of the palm almost, you will open up the, arm, the hands like this and you're gonna inhale as you open. That's important too, you inhale. Now, how big? Well, it's really not that big. It doesn't have to be that big, right? The measurement is usually about your head width, about like this. And then exhale as you close it and you don't have to touch. Ready? So let's do that a couple of times. Inhale. And this is good to do any time, any time of stress that you might have. Just do this little exercise. Energy. Inhale. Exhale. But you have to ask yourself, which I also ask myself, how are my fingers doing? Are they tense? So work on relaxing your fingers. As if you're holding a softball. You remember the softball is like a little bigger than the baseball? So the hands are like that, the fingers, but they're soft. So there's no tension, it's very soft. That's how you want your hands to be. Ready? So, so with the soft hand, inhale. Exhale. And when you breathe in, it's like your whole body is inflating, right? Like a balloon, so you inhale. Exhale. There. And bring it down. And feel the hand, feel the fingertips. See, so some might feel a little tingling. Some might not feel anything at all. It takes a little bit of time, but there is energy that's being expressed there, in the, especially in the Sun style. So we're gonna do it again. We're gonna go up, down, and then we're gonna do your open and close I'm gonna add one more thing to this. And this is called the single whip. It's just a name, you know, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just watch me first. Don't do anything, just watch. I'm gonna to turn to my right. I'm gonna push forward and then I'm gonna open up like this. All right, so let's just do the single whip for now after the open close. So follow me, open close, follow me, open close, turn. A little push. Now, like if you're opening up a curtain, open up. And I'm looking at the left hand as I open. 
See? So your neck turns a little bit that way. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be that high. All right? Let's bring it down and do it again. After the open, close, single whip. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Turn. Little forward. Open up. And look. Now ask yourself, can my shoulders go down? Of course they could. Drop. Drop your shoulders. Drop your elbows. That's how you want to be like that. All right? right? Now let's do the whole thing just for fun. From the commencement to the single whip. Uh, open, close, and single whip. Ready? Here we go. Circle. Push it forward. Drop elbows, drop shoulders, fingers pointing up. Open, close. Inhale. Exhale. Single whip. Turn. Small push. Open. Look at the left hand. Drop shoulders, relax. And bring it down. Feel, feel. And good. Isn't that, a, isn't that a cool feeling? It's like a little tingling that goes on. You know, the more relaxed you are, the more you feel it. The more concentrating and worried about what you're doing, the less you feel it. So little by little, as you, you know, come to the sessions or as you practice on your own, you'll see it. That's why I keep the movement short and sweet. So it's not that complicated. Tai Chi doesn't have to be that complicated. A lot of movements, different styles, but it should be easy. So one more thing, I do want to work on the wave hands with this style, you know, because the wave hands is a lot of energy in the wave hands. So watch me first. The wave hands are going to look like this. After this, I'm going to do this. Just watch. Fingertips to the elbow. I'm going to drop one hand. The other one goes up. I'm just going to do that. Watch. Bring the tip to the elbow, drop right hand, left hand goes up. So let's try that together. Ready? I'm breaking it down into pieces. This is the best way to learn, this, right? Breaking it down into little pieces. So from here, fingertips to the elbow, drop your right, your left goes up. There. But the palm's still facing the earth. See that? Do that again. Go. So it's one. Two. Ready for three? Now watch. Watch three. It's going to turn. Nose and navel turn. Boom. But that, look where the hand is. It's, not, it's here. Right, right, but I'm turning. Do it again. Let's do one, two, and three together. One. Two. Three. Turn. Now four is just going to swap again. Watch. Left hand down, right hand up. Same thing. And then what do you do? You turn. So that is one complete wave hand. So just follow me as we do it. Watch. Go to the corner, up and down. Boom. One is like a stop sign. See that? And the other one's a little bit turned, a little bit curvy like that. Yeah. When you get to the corner, just switch. That's all. Go. That's it. Turn. Now, sometimes I see arms moving, but I don't see the body move. Your body needs to move together with the arm like this. Together, together. See the waist and everything? Right. And then do that. So in Tai Chi, everything moves as one little bit. So turn, turn the waist. Turn the waist if you can. Turn, turn, turn. And then turn the arm. That's it. Turn the waist. Mm. Go. So in the martial sense, if you will, this is the side. See the side of the hand here? It's like a little block. So you're going this way. Going this way. Ooh. Yeah, you're like blocking. Ooh. That's it. And then switch. You're blocking this way. That's it. 
and bring it to the middle and let's open close. Now, before we get into the Qigong again, we're gonna do it one more time, just for fun. From the beginning to open close, to wave hands in the cup. Ready? Here we go, just for fun, follow, nice and slow. Inhale, exhale, turn, single whip, look at the left hand, wave hands with the cloud, go this way, fingertip to the elbow, switch, go, one, switch, Two. Everything's turning together. Three. Bring it to the middle, palm to palm, open, close, and breathe. Inhale, exhale. Slowly bring it down. And give yourself a few seconds to feel. Why did I just feel? How are my fingertips? How are my hands? Let it go. I'm gonna do it standing for those of you who wish to do one set, only one set standing, and you're gonna follow me taking small steps. Those that are seated, do it again seated. Okay, here we go, nice and slow. So when you stand, Right, with the soon styles, a little bit like this, like a V shape, a little bit of a V shape, like, ready? So nice and slow. Bring your elbows back, lift up the left heel just a little bit and take a tiny step, one. And then I'm gonna go forward, lift up the other heel and take a small step parallel. Now bring it in, inhale, exhale, shifting the weight to the left, small step, very small like this, and then push forward to the corner and then single whip, open up and look at the left hand, drop shoulders, drop elbows for balance. Let's wave hands in the cloud, ready? So follow me like this. Right hand does this, one, I'm stepping in, small step, step out, change hand. Everything turns together, one, step in, small step, change hand. Keep your balance, keep your knees relaxed and a little bit of a sit for the balance, one, Drop shoulders, drop elbows, release the tension. Let in. Turn. Small step. Three. Ready? Palm to palm. Open, close. Relax the hands, relax the fingers, and slowly bring it down and feel. And relax, good. Relax a little bit, let's have a seat. And um, I'd like to talk to you now on some of the, I call them tools, you know, little things that, are, that uh, you'll see in the Tai Chi world and, and in some of the Kung Fu world too. So I'm gonna show you a little bit this is what's called a, um, a Tai Chi ruler. 
So as you can see, you can get this on YouTube also, by the way. I use this a lot in some of my classes and some of my sitting classes too. This is called the Tai Chi ruler. So when I use this, in the Tai Chi ruler, what happens is the energy that you have here in the palm, they call it the Logan. You put one end here and one end here. And whether you're sitting or standing, if we, if we all can get one of these and you want to bring it to the class, you know, we can do this for about five or 10 minutes. It's called a Tai Chi ruler. It's like 20 something dollars you get in on Amazon, I think. So you do this, you do that, and you hold it there. And then you do circles like this. I do circles. One, these are the little things. I'm just showing you little things you can do with it. Two, and then I do this to it. Turn it around. See, I put it behind my back if I can, or here. I lift up one knee, I bring the ruler up. So this is called the Tai Chi ruler. That's one thing that I use, not all the teachers use it. And then of course, the fan. The fan is used also in the Tai Chi world, you'll see it. The fan is good, I use it good for the wrist sometimes, for the wrist, just opening, you know, opening and kind of flicking the fan. So the fan is also used in the Tai Chi world also. They do forms with the fan. For example, you know how we did that form now? In the middle of it, you stop, and then you would open it up, bring it back, and a lot of little nice things you do. So this is the Tai Chi fan that's also used in the Tai Chi world. And also, they use, uh, I'll surprise you with this one. This is the lightest one. This is the lightest one I can get. They use the sword. This is uh, empty aluminum. See? There's a sword. So in the Tai Chi world, the sword is also used moving things, sitting or standing, you do it slow, see? So you, you work and you do it slow, you bring it in. So the sword is used, the fan is used, the ruler is used. I use also um, the Tai Chi ball. There are even books out that people have written using a Tai Chi ball. It's smaller than this and it's made out of wood, hard wood. Um, and they use the ball, you know, to do little things like this, you know, with it, or to go side to side to do the exercise we do. So there is such a thing as a Tai Chi ball as well. Okay. So I wanted to show you that so you could see that there's a lot out there in the Tai Chi world. It's not just about moving slow and moving. There's a lot of little things that you can have. It's really good. So let's go back into the, into the Qigong now. Ready? Black thing. Back of palm. See how it touches? Right, bring it up. Open, drop shoulders, drop elbow. There, now watch. The sides of the palm meet. See how they touch? Bring it in. One. And then bring it out. Two. So do this exercise. This is a great exercise for the wrist. One. Right, two, and let's do it again. Ready? Down, up, inhale, let it go. Release, capture that energy all around you. Bring it together. Bring it inside. And bring it here. Let's do it again. Up, inhale, let it go. Even if it's a small opening, that's okay too. Bring it here. One, two. Do it again. One, two. And then one more. Bring it in. Up. Let it go. And relax. Ready? Interlock your fingers if you can, right? Again, this could be done sitting or standing. Interlock, because I'm just going to be doing this in a circle. One, two. Now, what do we need to move here? Do you think it's just my arm or do you see my waist doing something? Look, see, whether you're sitting or standing, right? You can still move your waist a little bit, right? Two, that's it. Three. See how they interlock? Small circle, you don't have to go that big. And then I reverse from here. Always breathing, going up, exhaling, going down. Two. 
three. Now open up. Ready? Now from here, sitting or standing, I'll first I'll show you the standing version to the chair. And we're gonna do this. One, I lift up the heel, right? The heel is in the back. I bring the toe up. One, two. So as you bring the arms up, right, bring the heel. One, this comes from a shibashi qigong, they call it. So one, heel up, toe up. Heel up, posture. Bring the heel down, lift the toe. Right, and I'm gonna do the other side. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Even walking, nice and slow. Ready? Same thing. Up. Lift the toe, drop the toe, lift the heel. Posture. Drop. Ready? Lift the toe, drop the toe, lift the heel. But look at the arm. You don't have to go that high. It's, it's just a lift. The elbow, see, just a little bit. Go. One, two, lift. But keep the posture as I'm lifting, I'm opening up. One, two. Now sitting, stay sitting, right, or standing. We're going to do this now. We're going to open up the chest. One, two, and then two bigger ones. One, two. Ready? So it's two small openings and two bigger openings. One, two, one, two. This I got from a friend of mine, South Carolina, Master Wu. Does this really good stretch before doing Tai Chi, right? One, two, one, two. Okay, bring it down. So we did that warm up. How about the hips? Real important, folks. Hips, real important, especially in Tai Chi, right? So the way Tai Chi works, the work is. <laughs> It generated in the bottom, it starts with the bottom of the feet, right? Then controlled by the hip and then expressed in the hands and the arms. Ready? The body. So do this. The circle. I'm drawing a circle, right? If I'm standing, I draw a circle in the arm. And if you're sitting, just move the waist. And the other way, go. See how it's turning? Turn, turn. Make a circle. It's like drawing a circle here. See? Like that. And you can make it smaller, bigger. That's it. So I'm going to sit now again to show you nice and slow. Take your time. Take your time. Wait to land. And remember, a circle. So I'm doing this. See that? There. Good. Go the other way. Go. There, now bring it up. Bring it down. Relax, let me just do admit one person. Relax a little bit. Here, here we go. Okay, here we go, ready? So from here, bring it up. Up, drop. Open. Bring it down. Bring it up. Drop. Now watch this opening. This is like a curve. It goes like this. It goes up. So the wrist turns and it goes in a curve. Up like this. And then back. Right. Right. Bring it down. Let's do it again. Up. Down. Drop. So that the fists are below the chin and it's going around. Open up and drop and relax. Good. Go like this, relax the shoulders. And the other way. Now, there's another form in Tai Chi. They call it the Yang form. This is one of the most popular forms there are. This one starts like if we're sitting, right? Because it could be done sitting or standing. If you're sitting, you just lift up the left knee and then you 
step out. So now it's 50-50, right? The weight. So let's do it again. From here, the hands here by your side. Lift, step. Bring it back. Lift, step. And then you do this with the arms. Floating up. And then floating down. Ready? Do that again. Commencement. This is all part of the commencement. Step out. Lift. Inhale. Exhale. And now I hold the ball like this. See that? So let's do it again. Ready? In the beginning. Go. Step out. One, two, hold the ball. So it's in front of you. The ball is like in front of you. So the bottom one is by right where the energy is, below the belly button. And the other one is middle of the chest. Now watch what happens now. This is going to go like this on a curve. See the angle? The palm up. It's going to go out like this. And the other one goes by the waist like that. Like that. Yeah. So let's do it again. Ready? Let's do that opening. Yeah. And I love the Yank style because it has animal mane. <laughs> this one, parting the wild horse's mane. Go. Open up. Open. Open. Both. Both. Open up. Right, let's do it again. From the beginning up to the first parting one horse in the main. Ready? From here, step out. Inhale. Let it go. Hold the ball. Parting the one horse is main. Right. That's it. Perfect. Now I'm going to do it standing, right? To have, give you an idea what it looks like. Remember, just stay sitting and do it again, right? Um, this, this one, there isn't too much you can hold on to, so you have to go just take small steps if you can, right? So from here, lift up the left heel, go out. Um, in my case, it's the right, right? Go. Uh, Hold the ball, transfer the weight, small step, and then open up. Perfect, that's it, good, let's do it again. Ready? Lift up the left heel, step out, up and down, inhale, Exhale. Hold the ball. Transfer the weight. Let's just a small step. Step and then open up. Good. Bring it back one more time. Ready? There's a little step that goes inside, but I don't want to make that too confusing for now. We're just going to do the small step the way we usually do. Ready? Go, lift up the left heel, step out, even if you're sitting, ready? Inhale, exhale, hold the ball, transfer the weight, take a small step, and then open up. Try to turn the waist just a little bit as you open up, like that, mm. there. Good, and bring it back and down. Let's have a seat. Good, nice and slow. Ready, go back to the Qigong. Here we go. Bring it down. Now, both hands here, very small fist. I'm gonna push with one hand and I'm gonna try to turn just a little bit to the right, 
and then bring it back. See? So what's going on? I'm pushing, but not all the way. And then I'm looking on my left. And then bring it back to the middle. Place both fists here. And we do it again. Push with the right, with the left hand. Turn the waist to the right. And bring it back to the middle. Palm to palm. I mean, fist to fist here. Go. Push. Turn. Bring it back. Bring it back. Ready? Now the legs. Do the legs again. Lift. Work the, the hips. See that? Bring it back. So lift up the knee. Try to open up the hip just a little bit if you can. And then bring it back. Lift if you can. That's it. And bring it back. Lift. Bring it back. I one that I love doing also for the hip sitting, especially, is you put the hand here and I just do a little circle. One, two, right. We work those hips, three. And then do the other side, same thing. One, two, three. Now lift up the other foot again and work the ankle. So do like this to the ankle, turn it. See, the joint, turn the ankle, yeah. And lift again, other side, ankle. Bring it down. Touch, bring it up. As high as you can, even if it's not a lot, and then bring it down like a circle like this and back towards you. So it's one. Down, two, and three. See, I'm drawing a circle. See it? Now we're going to do a Qigong move now. So, as well, see how I put my right palm like this? facing the earth, left palm facing out. So watch, this is all gonna move as one, like this, all together. Start turning to your right, and then everything goes, switch. Now one palm again, earth, air, go. Turn, when you get to the corner, just switch. Drop shoulders, drop elbows, and turn. Go. Don't keep the bottom hand too close to the other arm. It's about like this, see? But it's together, it's together. So don't keep the bottom arm, don't keep the bottom hand too close like this. This is out, out a little more. Bring it out so it's like this, see? Like that. See where I am now? Look, look where I am. So the, the tip of my thumb is almost pointing to the, the belly button and the other one's here. So you should be this, you shouldn't be like that. You'd be like this, so it's open, it's open, right? So go, now, turn, turn, and then switch, go. Boom, one's flat, one's flat, and one's like this. Drop shoulders, drop elbows, just keep doing this, look. One's pushing and one's just gliding right along the water. The bottom one gliding right along the water. And the top one is pushing against the air. Pushing against the air and the bottom one is gliding along the water. Visualize. In Tai Chi, that's this called a gentle, that's what's called one of the principles, a gentle resistance, where you're moving and you're visualizing that you're doing it inside water. So visualize that. Inside water. As you're turning the whole body, ankle. Keep moving. Turn. Mm. 
bring it down. Feel. Interlock the fingers and let's work on the wrist, right? So do this. This is good for the wrist. I'm moving the wrist. Not the arm. Look, the wrist. The arm is this. The wrist is this. See that? Look. Take a closer look. Look. See? Right. Now, if you can, if not, just do one hand. Don't go that high. Just do what you can. There. That's it. So you'll hear maybe a little bit of noise there. Okay. And then bring it out. Uh, bring it out. There. Bring it back. Do it again. The wrist. Yeah. Move the wrist. And the fingers too are important. So if you can, see how I count one, two, three, with the pinky meets little little fingers like that. If you can, if not, just do one hand like that. If you can, and then just work the work the fingers, work the fingers like that. That's it. And then close, open wide, close, relax, open like a web, right? Opening. Close, open it, close, open it, close, open up, drop, open, close a few times. Now, this is another Qigong one, one of my favorites here also. Watch, it's going to open up and inhale, one, exhale. Now, a little bit wider, two, inhale. Exhale, three, little, see each time I go a little farther. Just do what you can and then switch it around. Ready? So it's one, inhale, exhale, two, three, four, inhale, but the palm, always palm the palm, right? You want that energy to be there. Turn it here, one, and relax. Bring it forward, bring it down. Bring it towards you, turn to the corner and push with both palms between, where the knee is, so they're going between the knee forward. And then bring it back to the middle. Turn, push, not all the way. Bring it back. So the palm turns and it comes towards you. you. Turn, turn the palms again and you push. Right, right in front of that knee. Turn the palms again, bring it towards you. Turn, go, three. Bring it to the middle and drop. Nice and slow. And relax. Let it go. Here. Breathe. Inhale. Bring your stomach out. Exhale. Bring your stomach in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Stomach out. Stomach in. As you exhale. Inhale, stomach out. Exhale, stomach in. Inhale, stomach out. Exhale, stomach in. Open up. Inhale, exhale. So higher. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. A little higher. Inhale, exhale. Bring it down. Let it go. One hand here where the belly button is, a little bit below it. 
the other hand touching your chest. Inhale again. But the goal, the goal is for the bottom hand to slightly go out, right? That's how you know you're breathing through the belly. So try it again. Inhale, bring it out. Exhale. So the top hand, the top hand shouldn't be moving, right? This is a good test. Go. Inhale. Stomach out. Exhale. Stomach in. Inhale. Stomach out. Exhale. Stomach in. Now open up. Let go. Release and drop. And let's do the cool down before we go. Just as there is warm ups, there are cool downs. So this is part of the, ready? Here we go. One, all the way around. Pick up all that energy, bring it in. Let it go. Drop shoulders, drop elbows. One, two. Mm, big smile on your faces. Nice to relax. Ready, inhale. Bring that energy in, right? No reason to be so serious, right? Just smile a little bit. Inhale. It's a happy thing, Tai Chi, is to relax. Let go of that energy. Exhale, let go. Ready, now we're going to close, tense up a little bit, lift up the heel, and then I'm going to let go. So I know the difference between what tension is and when opening up and letting go. Again, inhale. Let it go. And let's do some tapping. Tapping is this. There's tapping, what's called tapping the meridian, tapping the energy center. So you're tapping here. And also rub the knees, good for the knees like this, you see? And it's also real relaxing. With the palm, I'm doing little circles on top of the knee like this. Yeah. See, we never do that, right? Rub the knees like this. You know how good that feels? Just go all around your knees, your poor knees. They, take you around, right? Or they help you lift the knee. They, they'll do this around and then the other way. There. And then we're going to tap outside the knee. Inside the other knee. And then outside the leg. The meridian's all over here. And then inside the leg. The thighs. And then we're going to work our way up here. Ah, meridians here too, long meridians, different meridians, what's happening? See? And then turn arm, tap on the knees. And then this is like an immune system spot right here between, so tap that, like this. And then do the, go like this, one, two, just rub it off, three. And then do the other side, same thing, so tap. Tap, turn, tap. And then immune, the immune spots here. And then just rub it off. One, two, and three. And then here, by where your lymph nodes are, right? You can tap a little bit there. Lymph nodes, right? Liver, right? Meridian, gallbladder, all that stuff. Here it is. Bring it down. There's a lot more, but we don't have time to cover all that. Bring it up. I'll put it behind here so you could rub down the bottom of your neck. And then slowly the palms meet and you bring it down like that. See that? Let's do it again. Bring it up. Back of the head. Ah, back of the neck. Bring it down and out there. Good. So, left hand closes, right? Right hand or right hand. Do this. Boom. 